Yo everyone, this is gonna be like a review or like, you know, my thoughts on my now most popular video. And I did not expect it to be that way. Uh, I really just thought that someone would not view it and stuff like that. And I say all this as like a thank you for everyone that has subscribed. I'm, th I'm very thankful. Hey, yeah. I'm glad y'all wanted to tune in and actually hear what I had to say. Even though, in my opinion, uh, listening to my video, I sounded, ugh, it, I cringe. I can't watch my own video in full, which sounds very bad in that, like, you know, as, like, I think it was because it was nighttime. That's why I couldn't really watch my video in full because I was cringing. I was just like, damn, because at that point, I was not as mad as I sounded, you know, honestly, as I was, like, reviewing this i have my like other phone like right near me and when i was making that i had my other phone in my hand i was playing geometry dash like bro like i was not actually that mad but i sounded i was hype you know yeah like yeah i was annoyed about the situation but like yeah and also short break uh i'm gonna be doing my part two of the naruto celebration birthday i'm planning on watching the first episode of Naruto, very first Naruto, you know, like that had like Haku and Zaba Zaba before they died in there, like that Naruto, I'm planning on watching that first episode, I'm gonna see if they have the last, I know that it's not free, so you know, it's okay, we could just look at the screen and just look at the poster they have for the last, it's okay, we, it's okay, we don't have to do all that and just hear me talk, but I'm also gonna do Gintama, um, Sakata. I'm, I already watched the first episode of Gintama, but I want to watch it again because I don't remember it. <laughs> I know I watched that. I don't remember it. And then there was another one whose birthday is also today. And I think he's from that series that's like from the creator of One Punch Man. And I, yeah, yeah. From the creator of One Punch Man. There was another series where I think it's about, oh my gosh, is this about ghosts? Hold on. We're going to check it. Also, side note, sorry. How's their side note to my side note? Uh, uh follow this artist, because this is beautiful. We, we love it. This is beautiful. I can't. Anyway, there it goes. Creator, his name is number one, or just one. And Mob Psycho 100. One of these dudes' birthday out of Mob Psycho 100 is October 10th. And so, I am putting on watching the first episode of Mob Psycho 100. I should have been done it. I really didn't have, like... A feeling to watch it it's like it's so weird it's just like one punch man when i watched one punch man the first time i did not feel like watching one punch man i just watched it because i didn't know about it same with black clover i don't actually have a, like i have a desire to watch um uh oh what was that series uh, my hero academia i had a desire to watch it but i yet to watch it. it's five seasons you know it's like series that are mainstream and series i want to watch i can't watch them but with series i never really cared for i can binge them like like what i can't Anyway, back from that break, with that video, when it was about to be made, I made that around nighttime, I think, and I had viewed that, of course, that skit on Twitter, and I had seen a comment for it, and I watched it at the same time that I turned the video on, so, you know, like, I was watching, I guess I watched a little bit of the first part of the skit, but then, like, I watched it along with you guys. That's why I, like, had those pauses and breaks and all that stuff. Plus, I watch my videos like that anyway. But the reason why I am talking about it now is because, like, I knew I was going to make a review or reaction to that one because my initial reaction is, like, when I do these videos. Like, you know, this is my initial reaction. I don't just, like, you know stop recording and then like delete it and then that unless you i show y'all information y'all need to see and stuff like that but yeah like of course i do many pauses to collect my thoughts on what i'm trying to say you know all that you know or write something down to where what i'm gonna say next but if i could be 100 percent, i think i was more mad about the, like about or in the comments than I was at the actual fucking skit. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I think, I think that, no, because, let me explain. I remember a long time ago, the uh, big creator would mention that they don't read their comments for a reason. And that was when I didn't even think about doing YouTube. And so when getting to YouTube, 
I was so excited that I was even getting comments for my video because I never even expected really people to watch it because I've left tags on my other videos before and uh, they didn't get that many views if I'm gonna be honest with you so it didn't really matter if I left like it, big tags that would normally attract people or not so when I even left these tags on this video I still didn't expect much you know so to get that many people to actually see it you know I was just like oh okay cool so every reaction I react to damn near every comment I didn't do that on my Alexandria one like video um, not every which one and stuff like that. Most of them though. But I was just really happy and excited. I wanted a conversation about this thing because I like conversating about topics that really pique my interest or um, about topics that I actually like. Like, you know. However, the biggest mistake I made was going off on some. Like, I was just like, uh, because I think this is applies to real life. I'm like, I think this also applies to real life as well, to where like, you know, having a conversation with someone and then it turns in ugly or it turns into like, you know, they don't like your opinion or they don't like it to where they insult you and then you immediately just bring up the defensive walls and just like, I don't want to fucking talk about this anymore, you know, since you can't respect me enough to have a full conversation. But this is the internet and I'm well aware, you know, I've been on Twitter for like since pandemic times. I am not no stranger to fucking arguing with individuals, but Twitter is not YouTube, you know, so that was, that's just out the way and stuff like that. You know, some people just start you to argue on Twitter if I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> If I would be honest with you, I, I've seen some threads where they really chose not only violence, they chose war. Like, bro. So, yeah. If I were to remake my reaction to that SNL video, I know I still would not find it funny. And I would basically let y'all see the full video without me, me pausing. Um, I would be probably more calmer just to match the energy I actually feel inside and not be, like, real hype. Because... It, it was new to me. I, like, basically recorded right when I saw it. So I was just like, oh, yeah, let's go. It was just like that. But, yeah. And, yeah, that's the thing is, like, you know, I like conversating with all of you. Like, I love that there's new subscribers here, you know, when I do make a video. If y'all ever want to leave a comment down or just talk about what I'm talking about. Like, hell, yeah. Like, you know, let's, let's talk about it. I love that shit. What I don't love and what I would never love is when I'm, like, you know, a comment left down and then, you know, you're trying to curse me out for my opinion. I didn't even expect somebody to comment down if they dislike something so much. I did not expect them to actually leave any comment or anything. Like, you know, I've met some people who were more mad than I was. Like, I was just like, bro, what? <laughs> like, I was just like, oh, wait. I was just what? I wake up to my notification going off and I'm just like, what the fuck is going on? And then it would literally be that. I was just like, bro, what? Like, what's going what's going on? And I'll just talk about like I would say just one of them. I'll just talk about one topic of it was the real world events topic. The same topic happened on Twitter as well where people would be like, There's events going on around the world, you know, things with Iran, the Ukrainian war, you know, just a bunch of things happening in Europe around the time or not even in Europe but like around the other part of the world that I'm not on you know this is not to downplay the importance of the things that are happening across the world you know I even let them know like you know don't be upset or don't blame me if my like focus is not on those things you know it's not only that they're not on my side of the world it's that I'm already aware of them that's what makes it worse is that I know they're happening man like I know they're happening the reason why I didn't make videos on them happening is because I wanted to make videos and things I liked before I went into that because it's depressing man it's depressing like the fact that going through school having to see all of it you know being educated on what's really going on the death toll every which one of that way you know it just it's the type of stuff to keep you up at night realizing how little you can do for the world around you like you know at where you're at right now like where I'm at right now there's so little I can do for people across the world it's it's baffling like you know war is such a herring topic so gruesome because it's just like you know talking about what even started it a lot of times it spans before the birth of some of us like 
bro some wars you know it's like the beginning when there was just like you know just feuds stuff like that in 1990 i was not born in the year 1990 you know i wasn't even a thought in my mother's head i wasn't even like you know i don't even think my mother had thought about having children at the time 1990 so i'm like damn you know um but of course you know not every word just happened like oh off the rip i understand that however you know if i'm gonna make a whole video about it then it'll be tracing all the way back then i remember i wanted to do a public speaking video where i explained like you know some i would say tips or just my experience of it and one of the biggest topics i made was on the ukrainian russian war you know and i saw that some of the stuff expanded back to 1990s and i'm just like i don't i wasn't born there and then like, you know i was just like damn shit but um yes these are topics i've been planned on making you know i've been wanting to do my public video public speaking video since like what my first semester of like college like you know i've been wanting to do this however i wanted to do the things i enjoyed first you know just what i want to do do at first before i do that because if i'm gonna be honest with you if i'm gonna be factual with certain stuff i'm gonna have to do a lot more than what i do now in my videos I quite literally just start recording and start speaking like you know sometimes I do write down how my thoughts are and stuff like that you know just a little bit like the to bring myself back to topic of what I'm talking about because it is very easy to get off topic um if I'm be honest with you but right now this video is off the top of the dome I, you probably could tell there's so many breaks in it <laughs> like, you probably could tell I'm not even gonna hold you you probably could tell but this is to say that I'm aware that there is various things going on not only in the news you know just around the world every day every day there's something occurring around the world and i understand that there are people who want to see more news of that you know like of course i get it i really wish that on my other videos they are commenting that they wanted to see this you know i'm glad i, I don't mind making a video sooner than i thought later because i wanted to do it later because you have to i want to actually plan it out edit and write down what the fuck i want to say um i don't mind these other commenters going under some of my other videos and just like you know having a conversation about like wanting to see a video about that i don't mind like you know i don't mind i would like that you know that'd be cool but what i just didn't rub me the right way was that I made one video about one topic that I've talked about before the topic even got big before report news articles and stuff like that before reporters before fucking Saturday Night Live do you know how big Saturday Night Live is it be having actual like it be having celebrities like talk about I say actual celebrities it be having not that try guys aren't celebrities they're just so much more known on YouTube you know so for Saturday Night Live, you know, it had, like, celebrities that were in other big movies. It had Chadwick Boseman, Leslie Jones. That's the video I saw in it. Bro, Saturday Night Live is bigger than you think it is. So, for them to report it, it expanded it, you know? I thought my videos were expanding it. till I realized, uh, my videos do not hold a candle to other videos that made similar and had even more of an audience. So, yes, I am partly expanding this drama of course however you know i i think y'all overestimate my influence like you know not y'all of course the ones that were on there you know i some people can overestimate certain influences like you know i'm not gonna overestimate my influence and stuff like that you know but if someone wants to see real world events like you know being recorded you know or previous wars or just stuff on history that leads up to now if you want to see it like you know i can do videos on that you know i may not have the same energy the same hypeness as my other videos due to the fact that it's like i you know history is never my favorite subject i hate history if i'm be honest with you um i absolutely abhor it however these are important this is part of history the things that are going on around the world the things that are going on right now as i speak uh they're pretty much darn important godly but yes, I don't mean to sound insensitive with any of this if I do sound insensitive. Like, you know, I do care about all of this, you know. My focus may not be mainly on it, but don't take my lack of focus as a lack of care. You know, I do care about this. You know, just hearing it, I see my news outlets and reports. You know, I see them. It devastates me seeing things are still going on. Like, bro, 
when I did my report of the Ukrainian war and the Russian war, right, that was in February. That was in February, bro. It's October, you know. Of course, it's a war. It's not just going to end off automatically, but damn. Like, I'm just like, bro, I, one, forgot that it was still going on, and two, realizing that, yeah, it's still going on. I'm just like, oh, my gosh, bro. But, yeah. I'm well aware war does not end overnight, of course, but it just, I lost my focus on it. Like, that's the thing. Also, I know I explained earlier why I was really even mad about certain comments like that. I, I don't expect to just get oh, a 10 out of 10 star conversation on YouTube, on Twitter, or none of that. I've been on social media too long to know that shit, you know? I just did not expect the amount of comments that were more willing for in thoughts like you know because i honestly didn't expect that many people to view my video like talking with so i really expected like if i'm gonna be honest at most like 20 comments and stuff like that and even that's at most because on regular i probably would get like what like five and stuff like that you know to get so many there were so many were like supportive comments there's so many supportive ones so many that i actually understood you know my idea of it you know why i was so hyped they may have not have liked how i was in the video because if i actually go back and rewatch my own video uh baby i sounded like i was doing way too fucking much and i'm gonna be honest with you i'm sorry about that you know that is not how i'm supposed to be acting <laughs> ah, ah, i could do it in a calmer way like you know i'm sorry about that However, I'm not going to ignore, like, the amount of people that actually understood what I was saying. I'm very glad that there were people who left comments like that. And we had, like, you know, a conversation that was, like, cordial, like, sharing ideas of the things. Even people who, like, didn't agree with, like, you know me and were saying that the skits were, like, funny. Like, you know, they didn't come at me with disrespect or they didn't come at me with certain things like that. Even the one that was explaining the real world events, like, you know, of course they were listing down different countries and stuff like, like, does anybody know about what's going on here? Uh, like, not here, but you know what I mean? Here, 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 Ukraine, Russia, Japan, all that, you know, he didn't come with disrespect, you know? And when we were like talking, we actually did have a full conversation about it, you know, explaining my idea of things and my reason why, explaining his, all that, you know? that that's what that's not what i'm talking about i already talked about that oh my gosh not me repeating all but yeah i explained in my other video like you know that was the, that was the gist of it by the way all that i explained in that SNL video like why i didn't really find it funny maybe not said like oh this is the reason why like you know this this then the third i may not have done that i may just went off into a rant you know and going back to watch the video i still didn't find it funny but I didn't have the same intensity you know I kind of just watched it to actually just view it this time and not do a video for it and I still didn't really find it funny like you know I couldn't I couldn't find it funny I there I couldn't find the joke funny I think that was really the biggest issue was that you know there have been offensive like I've seen whole comedians and stuff like that they said shit I don't really agree with and stuff like that it'd be the way not they said it or it'd be like another joke before what they said and stuff like that i'd be laughing at it, and then they say a joke i'm just like i don't rock with that there's been things like that before with like shit like you know big comedians like kevin Hart and fucking cat williams and stuff like that you know there's been things like that before where i was like that however with this one it was the speed that was made it was the unexpected see too i did not expect that you know i didn't expect them to actually make a video on Try Guys because Try Guys, I feel like they're mainly popular on YouTube. And yes, SNL got a YouTube channel, of course, but they also have a literal show. So I was just like, I did not expect them to make this at all, you know? Like, I didn't think Try Guys were gonna be that important to where it's just like, oh shit, let's make it on Saturday Night Live. Like, I didn't think that, like, you know? And the topic of who cares, it's more important stuff going on in the world. Well, by that logic, why did you care to click on certain videos like this and comment this one? You could be reporting yourself on what's going on around the world. You could yourself make a video on YouTube or make an article, like, you know, on a website 
about what is going on in the world, about the importance of being knowledgeable on what's happening around the world. You yourself could do this as well, but to come under another video and be like, who cares? It's like you cared enough to complain about what I'm complaining about. You know, complain that I'm complaining. You know, you cared enough to do that. But I shouldn't care or make a video like that. There are thousands of videos on YouTube in general that make videos that have nothing to do with their actual real life. Like, talk about making videos that don't affect their real life. There are videos that, you know, people are reviewing cartoons that already ended. There's videos about, like, anime, um, the characters in the anime and what they did wrong, what they did right. You know, there's videos, just things that don't actively affect their real life. They make videos like that, too. However, are there comments under their thing being like, who cares? Probably. However, it's just like, you know, with me, I was just like, bro, what? what it was the like not even just the amount it was just that they were there and reading the comments is my fault um no one told me to do that shit i just wanted to so i, I just wanted to though it told me to and i'm well aware there's more supportive comments than there are those comments and stuff like that however i view that a lot then practically all my comments are important you know because i didn't expect to have any so it's like yeah but that is all for the video, everyone. Thank y'all for tuning in if y'all do, or if y'all did, you know. And part two of the happy birthday celebration to Naruto and Taki and... Is it Reagan? Wait, I think it is Reagan whose birthday is today from Mob Psycho 100. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry. But happy birthday to those three and... Can't wait to have y'all view it. All right, may peace be with you for an eternity.